Scorpio. I was getting that song here, baby, I love you. So what am I so afraid of? Yeah, you tell me, Scorpio. Are you afraid? All right, let's get into a reading for you. I do declare we're going to read on you today. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Scorpio placements. Thanks for joining. Thanks for returning, spies. Love you so very much. All right, so let's see who or what is coming towards Scorpio. There's some sort of a delay on my camera. I think I think it is. Oh, well, nothing I can do. Okay, so you have sacrifice and courtesy. Mm. Scorpio, someone here is, um, oh gosh, they're tired of like meeting your needs or being nice to you. And I'm not trying to say that that's what they've been doing, but it's definitely their perspective here. I've been doing everything to make Scorpio happy. I've been bending over backwards, um, trying to meet Scorpio's needs. And I'm getting that with this food vibe. Okay. It's like, I've been giving love, attention, affection, whatever. Okay. Maybe they're running errands for you. They're doing all kinds of things that they feel like is not really getting them anywhere with you. And that's who's coming in today. Because they're actually starting to like feel kind of silly. They're feeling out of place. They're starting to feel like maybe they should give up. Okay, and that's what I'm getting with this transgression energy. So let me see Scorpio's vibe. I'm getting ginger here. Okay, Scorpio, please. What's that? Seduction? Really? Is that why? Hello? Okay. Seductive vibe. One more on you. One more thirst. Ooh, these two cards together is always so intense. What's going on, Scorp, huh? Okay. You're going to get super tingly feelings here um, in your regions, in your nether regions, in your mind. Okay. So I feel like you're going to feel a lot more like wild in the coming period over the next week. There's something about you that you want to get out. You want to try something new. You want to do something all great and exciting. I'm seeing someone like punching the air, like toward the ceiling, like toward the roof. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Getting something about Jersey here, okay? I don't know if someone's wearing a Jersey, Jersey material, like sheets or something, or like this is a place, okay? But I am getting Jersey. You also have um, this thirst vibe. Okay, so you could be going to a sporting event. This could be a sporting event here. Yeah, at night. Ooh, freaks come out at night. So Scorpio, I do feel like you are getting kind of intense here with a certain desire that's coming your way. You're getting hella intense, all right? Like, see this allure and desire and obsession? Like you're borderline obsessing. Why don't we see what this is, of course. I want to know what's going on. You know, it's funny. I did the Capricorn reading and they actually spelled out S-E-X. Yes, they did. Really interesting. Oh, I don't like how that rolled. Okay. Aries. Aries keeps popping today. Ooh. Mm-hmm. You could be dealing with an Aries here. This person is going to communicate with you. This person is at a distance and they're over here like, um, so what do you want to do? So there's a lot of like, um, 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 with this whole thing. But I'm seeing that you're going on a trip here. Okay. You have an opportunity to meet up with somebody or you're going to be offered this. This is something you very much so want and desire with this 11th house, this Mercury and this Aries vibe. Okay. I see you going somewhere. You're going places. You're getting things going. I'm also seeing you could be like a newfound like celebrity or like your celebrity status is going up here Scorpio now listen I know not everybody's a darn celebrity there's not even enough space for everybody to be a celebrity but you could be dealing with a celebrity or like you are famous in your group your your name is starting to get more traction with this 11th house this mercury vibe people are talking about you this is word of mouth if you have like a business or if you post online maybe this is like I don't know TikTok or social media or something like that Okay, um, that's the vibe I'm getting. It could be about fitness, about sports. I don't know, anything that lights your fancy here. It doesn't have to be, all right? This is an example. So here's the thing, okay? Your desire right now for this 11th house, like you have this like real strong goal of yours is super exciting coming in. It's 
taking over, all right? Because this person is not um, coming into that picture with you. Like, it would be nice, you know, it's like, oh, that would be nice. But I see you like zoning in on something. Well, your heart is leading you. You want that. This is mine. This is, has my name on it. I want my name on the billboards. I want, it's something like this. It's yours already. So you're manifesting as well is what I'm getting. Okay. Tell us what this is about. So don't, I'm also getting mum. So, so first of all, something about someone's mother. So heads up on that. If you want, you know, maybe you need to check in with that, but, um, keep your desires to yourself during this time. Cause it's like, you could have people around you. Who's going to like, you know, shit on your ideas or something. And it's going to kill the vibe energetically. So, so just keep that to yourself. Um, not everybody's happy for other people because they get jealous. So they, I mean, well, it's envy. It's not jealousy. So show me the vibe here. What's going on with Scorpio? Okay. I feel like you're getting bored of someone and they're getting bored of trying. A five of cups. Yeah. What's on the bottom here? The six of cups. So there's a fire sign or a Scorpio here that misses you. All right, this is what I am seeing. And this person is going to be reaching out to you like we didn't already say that. Mm -hmm. Some type of invitation or some sort of like ideas popping up here from this person. I am seeing. So they feel like they're not really getting anywhere with you. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Show me the person in the reading. Star card. Yeah, 11th house. Eight of Wands. What is this? Eight of Wands again. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, here it is. Okay. This person will be offering you something. Okay. They want to offer you love. I'm seeing a vacation, a trip. This is definitely someone at a distance. Someone is going to be communicating quite a bit with you over the next week, but they definitely feel they're hitting a wall with you somehow. Like somehow, some way, it's not going through, it's not getting through, or there's just a lot of resistance between you guys. This is someone who feels like, okay, let me try this one more time. All right, you know, kind of expecting the same result. So they feel frustrated. Show me Scorpio in this vibe. Yeah, here you are, because you just flew out. You're like, I'm in. I'm in. So I feel like you're in for something. You definitely have like a secret you've been brewing here. Um, it's about success though, so I don't feel like it's something nefarious. It's just like you're protecting something you've created. Ooh. Show me Scorpio. Whoa, 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 whoa. Enough of that. Okay, Scorpio's cards are very jumpy right now. So I am feeling, wow, look at that. You're going to claim something that's yours. You're claiming an opportunity. Yeah, look at the D card. That's you right there. That's you. You're beating out some sort of competition, Scorpio. Like you're being chosen, you're being accepted, you're being picked somehow. Hmm. Also, your money's looking good. Um, it's like a small increase or medium sized increase in your stability, your money, whatever. If you were worried about that, whoever. Okay. What is this that Scorpio's doing here? So I see, yeah, Empress, I see that you're going to be, yep, lovers. I see that you're going to be invited somewhere here. Um, you're definitely, if there's more than one person in your environment, it's going to be made clear who you're going with and who you're choosing. Like, let's say you're dealing with someone right now. Well, someone on the outside is accessing you or reaching out to you and they want you to go somewhere, do something or whatever. And so you might go on a trip with this person, for example, and the other person is going to find out about it. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, well, okay, well, you didn't tell me you were going on a trip. Like, where's this person coming from or something like you were you were with me last week. It's like that. It's almost like you get back from a trip with someone, for example, you get back from a trip with someone and then you go on this other trip that someone invites you to with someone else. 
And that makes your person that you were dealing with prior know that your situation is done or over and they're trying to figure out. It's like, I'm trying to pick up the pieces. Like what's going on here? Yeah. See, why was I left in the dark with the moon and the hermit energy? Seven of cups. I told you what's going on here. Literally. They're like, where'd this offer come from? This ace of pentacles. What's Scorpio? Like what? Scorpio, you know, it's like almost like you ran off with somebody, but of course, I mean, you don't have to necessarily run off with somebody. You're running off with your intention, your passion. You got something coming to you. You're going to feel like elated. You're like, okay, listen, I know this is about to hurt or this is going to suck, but I have to accept this and it's for me. It's what's good for me here. That's what you're doing. It's with this person. Who is this that Scorpio is linking up with? How about we do that? Hmm? Mm -hmm. I'm getting Mel here. Don't know what that is. Okay, so Hierophant. Could be a Taurus. Oh man, Leo vibes. Okay, Hangman. Yeah, this person's been waiting on yous. So the Three of Wands, it's a little bit distance or it's a travel, like I said. Someone's waiting on yous here. They have been, and you knew it. You knew it, and you're going to just be like, you know what? I think I love you, so what am I so afraid of? And it's not necessarily. Like, you don't have to be completely, you know, head over heels in love. But this is definitely something. You're being offered something that you cannot refuse. You do not want to reject. That's what this energy is. It's like, wow, this is going to be so much fun. I love this. I want this so much. This is what I wanted, blah, blah, blah. Right here. It happens. Some sort of, like, safe haven or savior type energy. It's like, oh, thank gosh you saved me from that whole vibe over there. That person was boring me to tears kind of energy. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. Scorpio, I don't know what you're into here. All right, tell us about this um, opportunity or this person. Um, ooh, Saturn. Uh-huh. So we have Saturn, we have Capricorn energy. That's double on that. You may hear from a Capricorn. You may hear from an Aquarius. This person's very mature. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising doesn't have to be, but the energy is showing up very mature. Okay. I'm also seeing that somehow this is going to benefit your name or your career or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like you could be involved with someone who's like going to boost you somehow. Um, whether it's because they have pull, they have leverage. Like maybe they have a lot, you know, a lot of people that they're in contact with. They have a good status. Or this is someone who's going to back you up and support you. That's what I'm seeing here. Getting something about New Year's Eve. So I feel like you might have a message around New Year's Eve. That's a long time. Maybe that was last time. Okay, you might know. Or maybe go back in your camera roll to that time. Or go back in um, your calendar here. Mm-hmm. Tell us about this again. Daughter of Swords, Hermit. Okay, yeah. And the Seven of Wands. Okay. It's like someone's... Yeah, okay. You're leaving someone out and they're starting to stress and worry. Like you're leaving someone out. Someone is... um Freaking out over here. Okay, I apologize if you hear that. There's some construction going on. There's nothing I can do. I am so sorry. Okay. All right. It's going to be going on too. Okay. Um, Scorpio and this person over the next two weeks. The person showing up in the reading. Three of Cups. There it is. There it is. Yeah. 
this is someone who's realizing that you're leaving them, that you're talking to someone or they're worried that you're talking to someone and you're about to end this here. This Father of Wands energy could be involved. It could be a Leo here. A Leo is involved. A Cancer or a Gemini person is involved here. But it does look like you're kind of like choosing to go with a person. This is someone who like supports you. I don't know what to tell you. You, you have someone who really supports you here. And the whole other situation, I don't know, either they stress you out, they make you nervous, or you just want it to be done and over with. It's like, I can't handle this energy from you no more. It's no more, it's, you know, anymore. You just can't. Yeah. Okay. I see this person's like towing the line with you. Yeah. They're going to try and, um, what is this called? You know, when you try to get someone to change their mind, compromise this person's gonna try to like convince you or like try to compromise okay i'm getting rita okay rag rags someone doesn't have any money you may feel like this is someone who doesn't have any money here or they're like using you or something like that i'm seeing over o-v-e-r something is over because this is too stressful to deal with this here and you have another opportunity popping up scorpio it's just going to be obvious because it's like you're choosing just to go somewhere or you're accepting an offer and this is someone who finds out sees it knows it whatever all right and it's like okay so you're you're talking to somebody else now all right i feel like this person's gonna rage here i'm seeing someone getting all ragey okay um uh, because they're freaking out like oh my gosh it's over it's done but like this is my meal ticket kind of energy is what i'm getting okay they might threaten you or something like they're trying to threaten you it's kind of baseless all right it's because they're trying to you know use all the they're gonna try to pull out all the stops here to get you to change your mind okay i'm getting bob Okay, so the 11th house, Aquarius, and the North Node. Wow, you have some sort of like fame or fortune or like a, a very strong wish fulfillment that's coming to you based off of a connection. So you could be receiving a lot of accolades or awards, especially online with the 11th house. It's like your name is becoming well known, okay? And the Aquarius energy, there's something about you moving into this and it's gonna make someone feel like you're they're being left behind. Like let's say, for example, you're offered like a big deal on television and your person that you were dealing with um hears about it or they know about it and they can't come or they can't you know be in the waiting room or they can't whatever while you do this they're gonna feel like they're being left behind because they're they don't have any money okay someone doesn't have any money and they feel like they don't have any power or leverage either okay something about this it's like you're being whisked out of your experience scorpio i don't know how this is happening maybe you do because it's like something that you're doing that you really really want is paying off Mm hmm. It's going to happen quickly. This is not because I'm getting like you could be like trying to row the boat here and it like feels really, really slow, but it's not with the oars. Yeah, I'm getting goat. Yeah, so you're going to be seen as like really good at what you do, like one of the best. You're going to show up. I don't know. You have some fame or something coming to you and a new connection. So you could be being connected to somebody who's well connected or you're just also connecting with somebody while you are hitting like a, a, a threshold here that you've been wanting to, you know? Like you blow up somehow in a good way. So that's what I see here, Scorpio. Um, let's just get you one more of this because I keep touching it. Yeah, there's no more like power play, power dynamics or whatever this is here, okay? Um, there could have been some sort of a loss, like a financial loss, or like you feel like someone is making you lose money. That's something that you need to pay uh, pay attention to. If you're hanging out with somebody and your money starts dipping or your money gets all kind of weird or acts all wonky or funky, your money's all funny and stuff. Yeah, it's usually because of an energy that you have with someone, okay? There could be like some sort of curse that someone has with money and they haven't figured out how to like heal themselves from it. And I say curse with quotes, okay? That's just kind of what it feels. Um, it's what they allow to happen here. It's like affecting you. Someone's energy is affecting you and it's making you have some sort of losses. But I'm seeing that you're getting rid of something where there could have been like a manipulative energy to begin with, with this Pluto vibe. Like someone could have been trying to, you know, get you to, I don't know, give them something, do something or what have you. Some of you guys, you may be separating from a Taurus during this time. You're pulling away your support from this person. They're not happy. 
or there's a Taurus that wants to speak with you. Um, oh man, I feel like distance is growing between you and a Taurus. I love you so very much, Scorpio. Feel free to check previous future reads for more different information. Friends, family members, service to coworkers, people in top, people inside another street, check their place. I mean, everyone else, that's you, kisses. I love you. Those are mumbles. Bye.